Good morning everyone, Arjun here aka Golf Clash Keen. Before continuing with the video, make sure you have hit the thumbs up button and are subscribed to the channel. This is the complete walkthrough of the opening round played in expert division in the ongoing beer fest tournament. Please note that these shots are based on low level clubs and free to play balls. Here and there, I have also included alternative approaches using my opponent's play. Some tweaks and adjustments will be needed to make up for the close misses you notice in this playthrough. If you feel my playthrough is incorrect, then you may wait for other content creators to upload their content and then you can refer them. Now let's start with hole number one. Hole one bar four, here we have a crosswind, right to left. And I'm going for the sniper backspin approach, obtaining the funnel using the backspin. Three toss spin, one right spin on my rock level seven. At plus 10 yard mark, white ring by the rough on right. You adjust for max plus 20% for the drive. No need of any curl, just hit perfect. Perfect shot! Target yard, it should be 328 to 335 yards. Shot number two played with our sniper, sniper level 10, using six bars of backspin. Now I played the shot 64% uh, slider and 10% elevation. And I kept my ball guideline on the right edge of the cup. As you will see, first I look at the funnel, then I keep it on the right edge of the cup. So I played this one max 64% uh, slider at 10% elevation, but I would like you to try this one with 20% elevation at 64% slider. First, you can practice the shot in the practice arena and then in the main round. Perfect shot! Yeah, do hit perfect. We do cast the funnel and we miss it barely. Oh. Not barely, like maybe oh. 0.2 rings. Nice so 20% extra at 64% slider and you will have a good chance for the eagle. Hole 2 part 3, very good opportunity for a hole in one here. We have a tailwind. At plus 2 yard mark. First, you try to locate that funnel right there with the yellow ring by the rough on the right. Then, you add about 0.5 to 0.6 right spin with your ball guard line towards the pin. Now what happened wrong here is that I had um, an intentional curl on the ball. Again, elevation max plus 30%. You see I had that baby right curl which was totally unintentional. Perfect shot! Due to that, the bounce changed and I miss it close. See, very close. So try to center the ball. And nice you have a good chance for a hole in one. Hole two, par three. Hole three, par five. Here we have a cross tailwind using the Titan along with my extra mile level seven. Full toss spin, no need of any side spin. You can add side spin if you want, but I don't feel there's a need for it. Max plus 10% elevation, a regular perfect drive. Perfect shot! Now shot number two, this can be played in a better way using the Guardian. For some reason I forgot to put Guardian in my bag and I had the Sniper. So still I try to use the Sniper full backspin and about 0.3 to 0.5 bars of right side spin. 
try to locate a very sweet spot there so that we roll down but I guess I was maybe off by one green column that's why I missed this one the guardian will be a better approach on this hole elevation I played 20% slider and 10% elevation sorry the adjustment I played is 20% slider and 10% elevation perfect shot I did it perfect, however, we did not get that roll down due to maybe the lack of backspin on Sniper. Nice on! Hole 4 part 3, here we have a tailwind, I'm going to play this shot with my Goliath level 7. At the plus 4 yard mark, half of the red ring inside the rough on the right, as you can see there. And then you apply... 2.5 right spin and 1.2 backspin here I apply one backspin and you will see that we come in a little too hot and we bounce off the pin which you don't want adjustment max plus 10 percent max plus 10 p2 as we are playing with a katana which is a power 2 ball center the ball hit perfect perfect shot See, we do come in nice, but due to the lack of backspin, we bounced. So maybe 1.2 to 1.3 nice bars shot. of backspin with 2.3 right spin can give you a good chance for a hole in one. Hole 5 part 4. This one I'm showing you my opponent's play with a premium ball. Although this entire playthrough is free to play on my side, but I'm still inculcating this drive using the Owl Ball and Thor's Hammer level 8. Just in case if you are interested for an overpowered drive with... A max spin boost sorry sorry uh to with a toss spin boost ball and a power five ball setting so you can play this way if you would like great shot Now my drive here is fairly straightforward as we are playing with low level clubs and free to play balls. So laying up with the Titan, full toss spin, 4.5 bars and 2 left spin. Yellow ring by the rough on left at plus 16 yard mark. You adjust for max plus 10% and you push to max if needed. Okay, in this case, I do not push to max. I try to use competitively slower needle and max OP. Great shot! Max left curl. Even with a great right, you will see we were safe here. But always try to hit perfect. Now, the second shot will be a little difficult as you are playing extremely downhill. I played this one. 30% elevation at 85% slider using all the spins back spin right spin combined keeping my ball guard line in line of the pin see right there from memory it was 85% slider but it can be 90 as well so you need to check on your club distance for that but the elevation was 30% center the ball hit perfect once again, if you want to go aggressive, you can again Perfect check out shot. the drive of my opponent and maybe use some ap appropriate clubs. And nice on! Green. Hole 6 par 5. Here we have a cross headwind. Now on this hole, you will see many people scoring birdies instead of eagles because most of the cases, if they have premium balls and high level clubs, obviously they will go on the left side and try to get over the rough there. But in any case, if you are stuck in the rough or the sand, then it will be comparatively difficult to score a safe eagle. You will obviously have a birdie any given day, but if you want the safest possible birdie along with low level clubs, so you can follow this route, the one I'm playing here, using the quarterback and the Titan ball, max top spin, max right spin. Max plus 10% and about 5 rings OP. 
great shot. You see, I hit a double great left, but I was still very safe and in the mid of the fairway. You see, from the looks of it, I can also have gone with Max Opie and still be on a safe spot. Now, shot number two will be played with your power wood club, which would be either the Cataclysm or the big dog. My only aim here is to get close to the green or to the green using all the tosspin and rice pin possible. Now, two reference points here. Blue ring by the rough on right and my second bounce is inside the rough there. It should be inside the rough. Adjustment, max no elevation, so max plus zero. You adjust for the rings. About one ball curl to the right and you just try to hit perfect. Great shot! Great left. We were still safe. As you will see, we will clip the rough nicely as we wanted. On to the fairway for an easy chip for the eagle. Hole 7 part 3. For some reason in the main attempt, the ball did not roll down. It just took an awkward bounce and I was on the fair uh, on the green but as i was trying it to roll down towards the pin but that didn't happen like i said max plus 10 percent elevation four back spin three right spin however i tried the same approach on the back nine and i got a hole in one with a katana ball as well so do check out that shot as well but on this one Perfect shot! As we did not get intentional roll down, still a safe birdie. Nice on! There it is. Whole line par 5. One more par 5 where you may see many people scoring birdies instead of eagles because it doesn't matter you go on the right side or the left side, a bad shot, a bad drive can leave you into the rough. And if you are in the rough, then it's kind of difficult to score a safe eagle. But I'm going on the right side here, blue ring by the rough on the left. Max toss spin and left spin. Max plus 10% elevation. Now what I do wrong here is I use a little extra curl which was not needed. And as a result, I clip the rough. I use over like Perfect shot. over half ball curl, but you can just use outer left wall curl to the left see you, you do not want to clip the rough and you want to make more distance now even if you go short on drive like i did 290 yards you can still go near the fairway or onto the green for a safe eagle on the right side but on the left side if you're in the rough then highly likely you will have a short iron towards the pin in order to save your eagle so using all the toss spin and side spin possible and having the wall guard line a little towards the left of the rough, uh, left of the fairway, sorry, not the rough. Elevation max minus 10%. And I apply a little OP as well. Perfect shot! Perfect drive, even though our drive, sorry, perfect shot, even though our drive did not go well, but still we have a safe eagle on hole line. Nice on! Hole 10 par 4. So now here I hit a very bad shot on my drive. 4.5 toss spin to left spin. Yellow ring by the rough at plus 16 yard mark. You adjust for max plus 20% and push to max. Our aim here is to be able to clear everything and get into the short iron range. But unfortunately, due to a bad great left on my drive, you see, I will hit a bad great left here. Great shot! That was not even a bad great left. It was almost a good drive. As a result, you will see we are behind the trees. Like I said, you want to clear everything and be a, a little top on the fairway there. 
but due to a bad great left i was here as you can see trying to use the kingfisher and obtaining that funnel down the funnel down towards the pin tried various spins various spots until i was able to locate the funnel see we find the funnel there from the looks of it it is like one column above the pin but you will see we still miss this one before the pin elevation max plus 10 percent so if you clear out the trees you can just directly attack the pin you don't need to cast the funnel shot. and that will be played at same elevation max plus 10 percent so try to hit a perfect shot and clear all the trees and attack the pin straight at max nice plus 10 percent from the shot iron Hole 11 part 3, again a very good opportunity for a hole in one. This is still a work in progress. I might have it dialed in in the weekend round. I'll keep you guys updated. Adjustment is the same, max plus 30% power 3 ball since you're playing with the Kingmaker. Having the funnel, the ball guard line on the left side as we have a wind push from left to right. See, there. Again, max plus 30%. I haven't been able to dial this one in the opening round and due to time constraint, I did not use many practice tokens on this one. I also see some un unintentional or power there. So maybe that's why the landing spot also changed and we miss it on the left. Nice on! Hole 12 par 5, straight tailwind. You can use a power 5 win zero with a toss win boost. That is the owl ball or the spirit ball or the palm ball. Any ball with power zero, sorry, power 5, power 4 win zero along with some toss win boost. Use the max toss win and try, uh, directly try to get near the green there and have a wedge for the albatross attempt. But as we are playing with lower level clubs and free to play balls, playing with Titan and extra mile here perfect shot max plus 15 percent on the drive max toss spin now i said on the front nine here i'm playing with the guardian backspin approach minimum distance plus 10 percent elevation very important is to notice the bounce here and the ball guard line falling towards the pin. You see, second bounce on the right side of the dark green column, left of the pin. And the only thing you need to change here is to aim a little higher so that you get more roll down. As you can see, we had everything correct, the adjustment was also correct, Perfect but shot. only the landing spot was a little low. We do come in line, but we will end up a little short. So aim a little higher, nice and we'll have a very good chance for an albatross. Hole 13, part 3. I guess, yeah, hole 13, part 3. Here I'm going for a rough bump. We have a cross uh, headwind using the katana ball, max left spin and one bar auto spin, having the ball gut line going through the hole. As you can see right there. I play this one max plus 15% power two ball. See right there. If you favor any angle, favor 1159 and not a 1201 because this might risk you having to go in the bunker directly. Perfect shot! The perfect ball. We take a nice rough bump and we come in very close for a hole in one. Nice on! Hole 14 bar 4. Here I'm showing you my opponent's play using the Apocalypse level 7 and a Katana ball. And he is going to go for a max OP approach. Perfect shot! 
and he gets a nice bounce and then he rolls down to the fairway now once you're at the spot on the fairway where he rolls in you will play that 60 percent elevation of your club distance on the wedge like i said during the drive <coughs> You roll down into the green and you will play this wedge at 60% elevation of your club distance. So just carefully know what the club distance will be. He just eyeballed his shot, that's why he missed on the left. And he also used some left curl for some reason, I don't know why. Perfect shot! Combining all that, you will see him miss on the left. But if you adjust properly, nice a very good opportunity for him. Hole 15 par 5, here we have a tail crosswind. I'm going to go on the left side this time. Full toss spin and 0.8 to 0.9 left spin. Half of the white ring inside the rough on left, plus 16 yard mark. Max plus 10 and then you push it to max. Max OP, try to hit a perfect drive. Perfect shot! We get a sweet, perfect drive, and if you want to have a good, oppor uh, good opportunity for an albatross, then you need to be around like 410 to 420 yards on your drive. Shot number two will be played with your sniper, which would be a rough bump. Here, I played, from memory, I played this one 75 to 80% slider using two toss pin, keeping the ball guard line going to the pin. As you see right there, blue ring by the rough on top, ball guard line to the pin. I guess it was 75 to 80% club and elevation was minus 5%. Adjust the rings and hit perfect. The only reason why it did not drop because I hit a great shot. Great shot! See, great left and we will miss this one on the left. Very close, oh. hit perfect and you will have a good chance for it. Nice on! Hole 16 part 3. Here I scored a hole in one. Three right spin, four back spin on sniper level 10. Keeping the white ring by the edge of the tree there, as you can see. Just right there. Ball guard line falling as shown. Adjustment will be max plus 10%. You can play with the Kingmaker if you want. I'm playing with the Katana, saving the Kingmakers for the weekend round. Once you adjust, now notice the amount of curl I put. A little more than half ball right curl. Perfect shot! Hit perfect. Try to catch the slope down towards the pin. For hole 17 par 4, I'm going to show you two drives, both played with extra mile level 7 and a katana ball. Blue ring by the rough on the left at plus 11 yard mark. Here I use three left spin and three back spin. About 3 to 3.1 back spin here. Now I do not adjust anything and it's due to the experience I just pull four rings straight. For 10 miles an hour, I pulled four rings. Max left curl. Perfect shot! Perfect drive. Take a very nice bounce. And now I should have kept 3.5 backspin because we are close to the bunker there. Now this is my drive in the main round. This time we have nine miles per hour wind. So instead of four i will pull 3.5 rings back this time three left spin 3.5 back spin this time because the last time we were very close to the bunker you would want a medium distance wedge instead of a sand wedge any given day pulling three rings max left curl try to hit perfect 
perfect shot. That backspin helped us and at a very safe wedge for an easy year. I am also sharing my opponent's shot here using the Apocalypse 4 and a premium ball, which is Power 1 Win 5 Ball Season 40, the latest release in the bundle. If you want to go this route, you can choose to play this way. He was also on the green. Oh, he actually played with the big topper and he went in between the trees. So if you're planning to go in between the trees, you can play this one. Not sure of the elevations he used, but pretty confident he's gonna take the bounce in the rough and then try to roll out onto the fairway or the fringe or the green. Usually I, I would play this drive at max plus 10%. Big shot! Final hole, hole 18, par 5. Here we have a crosswind going right to left. I'm playing with my rock level 7 and a titan ball. Now, I used here like 0.5 backspin if from memory if I'm not wrong, 0.5 to 1, wait, 0.2 to 0.3 bars of backspin. So you don't, you don't need that backspin because you want to gain as much distance as possible. So use no topspin or backspin, only use two bars of left side spin. Plus 15 yard mark, yellow ring by the rough. Max plus 10% elevation. You will see even though I go into overpower, I will not apply any OP whatsoever. Outer wall, left curl. Perfect shot! Now you can see from the yardage we make on the drive, we could use maybe half a bar of topspin if needed. But again, try to not roll into the rough on top. Completing the playthrough. Here, I tried various spins, but I was not in the best spot to get a complete view of where the ball guard line was going since even adding all the top spin, I couldn't go from the left side of the pin. So I decided to go on the right side instead and try to find the same funnel. As you can see, I stretch out my target to find the funnel going uh, with the ball guard line going through the hole. Then I play this one max minus 10% elevation. See here as well, I go about one and a half rings of OP. Combining that with the stretch OP I found, I'm going with three to four rings of OP here. Great shot! Unfortunately, a great right. So this will not be converted to an albatross, but still we will have a safe eagle to finish the round. So a couple of difficult par fives, try to obtain eagles on them because many people- Nice arms! Let me know how you feel about the walkthrough.